Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a very cozy fall vibe video. I pretty much just wanted to do a fun matte green look that encapsulated the fall feels. So I hope I'm giving you all of the fall vibes today. This is the look that I came up with. I wanted to do a very blown out smoky matte green olive look. Um, and it's very easy to do. I used the Melt Gemini palette, which is one of my favorite palettes, especially around this time of year. I plan to do at least one more look with this palette for the season just because so yummy. Let me know what other fall looks you want to see from me down below in the comment section. And if you love these types of videos and can't wait for the next one, make sure to check out my fall makeup playlist. I have so many videos in there. I can't believe how much I am obsessed with fall looks, but I put them all in that playlist so you can get some fall inspiration, makeup look inspiration, or even just give you fall vibes fall cozy feel. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's get started. So I'm going to start with the Makeup Forever Fresh Brightener Primer. They have these in a bunch of different types. So whether you have more oily skin, more dry skin, or if you have redness or whatever, they've got a primer that is suited for your skin type. Um, so this one is just the, I guess it's for brightening. I don't really need brightening. I just like the finish it gives my skin. Um, I just went through and got rid of a ton of makeup recently and this one made the cut. I got rid of a ton of different primers and setting sprays. I only kept a few, so this is one of the ones that made the cut for me. My skin is still a little dry on my nose. I'm hoping that the makeup doesn't separate on it today. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. This is one of my favorites. I have the shade 220N. I do have a little bit of a tan, so I'm hoping that this matches. I think it will. I'm pretty sure that this is my more tan shade if I remember correctly. I'm using the Brianna Fox brush in Fox 4 from the Sigma set that I created with them. Pumping a little on the brush and just buffing it on. This is a fuller coverage foundation than I normally grab. So I'm gonna try to distribute that evenly. I'm also gonna bring this down the neck. And just buff this in. And then just going into the Pat McGrath concealer in the shade LM9 to conceal the under eyes. Just right in here. Back there, just wherever I have any discoloration. And then I'm gonna use my FO3 brush from Sigma to blend this in. Kind of bring it down a little bit. Anywhere I've got the redness. Looks like my nose is still pretty dry. You can see it's really red. I haven't like covered that up really because I went over it a little bit and it's already so dry. So I might have to grab, do I have any moisturizer? I might have to grab some moisturizer to mix in with foundation to apply it to the nose because That'll really make it a little bit more hydrating and not so dry. I just got my nails done today. <sighs> These are, this is my favorite color. It's um, from, it's a no chip color from the brand Luxa Pro, I think. And it's in the color Muse, three coats of it. And it just looks like the perfect, like just neutral, light pinky sheer goodness. It reminds me of Put It In Neutral from OPI, but the regular formula nail polish. Their no chip goes on a lot more sheer in my opinion and more almost like white rather than like a neutral pink. So oh, I just love this, I love this color. Okay, I'm gonna now whatever's left over on this brush, I'm just gonna dot on the nose. If it looks dry, whatever. Ah. Good enough for me. I kind of have some flakes here, but it's okay. Okay, for my contour, I wanna try something new today. This is from NARS. It's their Laguna bronzer, but in a cream form. So they have two different shades. We've got um, Laguna One and Laguna Two, but Laguna Two says original. So I actually think Laguna Two is the shade of their um, Laguna powder, not Laguna One. This is Laguna One, and it seems like a lot lighter, almost like a yellowy undertone, where Laguna Two, original, looks more like it. Just like a nice, true, like bronzy, warmer undertone, something not too 
light. So I'm gonna try this today and they came out with a new brush. It looks like this. I love applying cream products with angled brushes like this because it just gets right in there. So I'm gonna try that today. So this is what it looks like up close. Just a nice cream bronzer. And then I'm gonna pick this up directly in here and we'll start stippling it on the skin. Ooh, so far, so good. This is a little bit more of a stiff brush than what I normally use. What I use is still dense like this, but it has a little bit more flexibility. I actually feel like this brush is like taking away the product that I have underneath because it's so stiff. That's a little strange. Okay. It does have a little bit of like a radiance to it that I'm not in love with, but the color is really nice. I'm doing the sides of the forehead and then the jawline. Okay, and now I'm gonna grab my nose contour brush and grab this cream contour from my nose and see how it works here. Sometimes I'm not a fan of how cream contour products work on my nose for whatever reason, but because my nose is more dry right now, I'm hoping that this works really nicely. I forgot to grab a blush, so I'm just gonna use this one from Anastasia. It's the Nectarine blush. One of my favorites, it's a beautiful kind of like peachy color. So I'm gonna grab that with the Hollywood Complexion brush from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. And I used this for a lot of my summer looks, but this will still work for more fall related looks because it's that orangey undertone. So I'm just stippling this on the cheeks. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Dynamic Duo. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and this little powder puff. So I'm gonna go in and powder up my face. Side of the nose here, side of the nose here. Under the eye. Here on the forehead. And then just a little bit of cleanup. And then I like to go in with my bronzer brush because it's got leftover bronzer on it. Just kind of go over this area because I don't want it to be too stark white. Like I like that cleaned up and all, but I don't want it to be just too bright, you know? So I just kind of feel like it kind of helps blend it all together. And then for the face, lastly, I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath highlighter in Golden Moonlight. I've just been loving this. I think it's so beautiful. It gives the nice, it gives such a nice natural highlight, but also intense at the same time. Um, I'm gonna go into a Fox 5 brush and just pick it up here and start applying this on the cheekbone. And you know, the drill with the nose and the cupid's bow and blend. For brows, I'm gonna use the new Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil from Benefit. It is just a traditional brow pencil. And this is in the shade three. And then I'm gonna go into the Precisely My Brow Pencil, but in the shade four, because it's a little bit deeper. It'll help um, define just a couple of strokes there. So this is nice because then you can get the majority of the brow done like pretty quickly. It's a nice, very creamy pencil. This pencil works really well when it's nice and sharp. I feel like the only downside of this pencil is that it gets dull really quickly, but just keep it sharp mm, and it's good. Brows are done decently, then not the best today, but um, it's fine. I'm gonna clean up the bottom of them just a little bit with my primer. Um, I'm using the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC, and I'm gonna prime my eyes with this. But yeah, I need to clean that up just a little bit. We'll see if I need to fix my brows in the end. They're looking kind of bushy, but also like, I think once my makeup on, is on, it'll look okay. 
like some of this i think because that pencil is so dark kind of created a little bit of a shadow over here so hopefully this will help and just set with a little bit of powder and we are ready for eyeshadow i'm excited so for my eyeshadow today i'm going to be using the gemini palette from melt cosmetics i've used this quite a few times um, and I'm basically gonna be focusing mainly on this part of the palette, mainly these two shades, maybe a little bit of this one. I think I might start with this color, Lorelei, which is this warm, yellowy sort of shade. I'm picking it up on a Fox One brush. And I'm just gonna start on the outer corner, doing little circles and then bringing this into the crease. This will be a nice base for the look, for everything to kind of like peek around. Melt Cosmetics just has some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. They're very unique and I just love the themes of them. Like the color stories that they come up with are just so beautiful. And then I'm gonna bring this underneath, look upwards. Okay, I'm gonna have to do like a warm, smoky eye with this palette. This color is, oh, so beautiful. It's that already, it's just like poof, fall, 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 fall. Just looking back at my old videos and so many of my tutorials, especially for fall, are using products that you can no longer get, which sucks. So, like so many like Makeup Geek eyeshadow tutorials and old palettes that are discontinued like melt came out with their impulsive palette and oh my God, it was amazing one of my favorite palettes ever so this the reason i'm thinking of that is that this color reminds me of one of the colors that's in that impulsive palette so yeah i'm gonna have to like find some new palettes to work with and new products hey bring it under now that that color's on, I'm gonna go into Mochi, which is the lightest green matte shade in the palette. I'm just gonna use the same brush and just layer that color into the crease to create more of a green color. Almost like a little limey. Ooh, it's also kind of deepening it a little bit. I like that little combo. Bring it underneath, chin down, eyes up to access that lower lash line. And then I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. This is a Smith 247. It's got leftover product on it. I need to go get some more of my MAC uh, brush shampoo because you can wash it when it's dry or wash your brushes dry. You don't have to like get soap and water and stuff and it quickly just gets the eyeshadow off of them, but I'm all out and I'm placing a MAC order very soon. So I need to order that so I can switch this, but um, I'm going to go into Fire OG, the shade here. I'm going to look down into my mirror. You don't want to look too like straight into your mirror because then you'll squint and then it'll kind of crease your makeup. So bring your mirror down low if you can and look down into it and just start pushing this all over the lid. Make sure you've powdered underneath your eye. So if you have any fallout, you can dust that away. Bring this into the crease almost. It's all so smoky. I'm gonna grab a clean Fox One brush with some mochi on it and just kind of hit that right where the two meet to kind of just blend everything together. Might actually grab a little bit of Fire OG on this as well. Okay, do you the other side? Let's lay it flat. I feel like matte shades that are very pigmented like this, like a a bright color. I feel like they're really difficult to work with um, just in general. So just take your time if you recreate this look um, just because you might have to be very intentional and purposeful with your placement and just work slower than normal. That's what I'm doing right now because if I were to end right now it would look like this which is just very like it's got this stopping point but I'm just kind of babying that edge just being very light-handed and careful with it. 
And same with here. I don't want to like go crazy and just apply it right to the inner lid because I don't want to mess up and apply it too broad this way, you know? Kind of mixing Fire OG and Mochi together on a really tiny brush just to kind of bring it in between the lid and the crease. I guess I'm just putting this in the crease, but not too high up, but that way I've got the mend of the two shades, the two greens, to kind of help carry that upwards. And then we can start the blending process here, which kind of takes a minute. You wanna be slow and again, intentional. See, I kind of have like that dark spot. We're gonna work on trying to work that out so it doesn't look like that. Okay, there we go. Now it's all nice and blended. Okay, I'm gonna grab a Fox 3 brush and I'm gonna grab Mochi to start with and bring this on the bottom lash line really up close to the lashes to start defining that area. I always like to go one shade lighter than the darkest shade I've used, but it might work to use the darkest shade this time because toilet laugh? Yeah, I might end up adding a little bit of Fire OG to this on the bottom. I usually don't do that because usually when I add the darkest shade on the bottom, it ends up going on like, I don't know, it just always appears to be like even darker for whatever reason. But I think it's gonna work out. So, blend that out. I'm now just gonna add a little bit of Fire OG, which is what we put all over the lid and make sure I keep this really close to the lashes. Again, look, um, put your chin down and look up into your mirror. And then I'm gonna wipe off my brush, add mochi and use mochi to blend it down. I'm not going to just keep working with the Fire OG shade because then it can really get dark um, the more you blend that down. I'm gonna grab my face highlighter. I'm gonna pick it up on an eyeshadow brush and start highlighting my brow bone and also my inner corner. And I'm grabbing a little bit of Goals, which is this shimmery green. I don't want to put shimmery green like all over the lid or anything. I like how matte this is, but I'm using just a little bit of that green right here just to transition the highlighter on the inner corner with the matte greens. Perfect, it just makes it easier. Um, it's not necessary, you don't have to do that, but since I've got the color here, why not? It'll just make it a easier little switcheroony dooney between the colors. I'm gonna go in with a nude in the waterline. This is, if it would focus, <laughs> this is the Anastasia Base One Pencil. Um, and this is just gonna brighten this up here, make the lower lash line pop. If you wanted this to be even smokier, going in with like a dark emerald, in your waterline would be absolutely stunning, or if you could find like an olive liner. Mm, 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 like a frog. Okay, I'm going into the Lash Paradise Mascara, which I need to get a new one because it's getting goopy as fuck. Applying a nice base. I'm applying these lashes from Quartz Beauty. They're in the style Amethyst. Um, these are now like my new favorite lashes i think they're so pretty they're so full and wispy and not like too crazy i just love them i think they're so beautiful and they're very comfortable on the eyes as well love these okay i popped on this one like really weird and it's kind of making my eye water which I think I've got it under control, but I'm gonna zoom through the rest of this look so that hopefully it doesn't start irritating my eye. But I'm gonna pop on mascara onto the bottom lashes. I really like lower lash mascara. I think it's just finished and polished. I like the way it completes a makeup look. For my lips, I kind of want to do like a warm nude. So I have a few different things here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You unfortunately can't get this. 
Uh, freaking Kim Kardashian. Um, I don't know what's going on with KKW Beauty. KKW Beauty, it's like no longer a thing. I'm gonna use this, but there are a lot of other shades that are identical. I will link those down below, specifically one from Pat McGrath. I just have it in my lip liner box back there. It looks identical to this. Um, so I'll link that below. And if I find anything else, I'm pretty sure Oak from MAC is very similar too, but this is what I have sitting here. So I'm gonna line and overline with this. And then blend with my finger. I'm gonna go into my Tweety from MAC. This is a warm, neutral color. And I'm just going to dab this in the center. Okay. This is the final look. I love this. I feel like this is just so yummy fall warm cozy smoky vibes i just want to go read a book in a sweater with a puzzle and a candle and wear this makeup look i just love the vibes that this gives and even if it's still warm because here we pretty much have warm weather all the way through september but um even if it is warm where you live even all year long this can still give you the fall feels, even if the weather isn't doing what you want it to do. But um, yeah, I love this. I love the lip combo too. I know I kind of went through a couple of different products, but I think that this is a really nice nude for my skin tone. But yeah, that's everything for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed hearing what my tips and tricks were for achieving a look like this. It's decently easy to achieve. You just have to be a little bit more patient with the pigmented matte lid shades, but other than that it was only a couple of shades and just tedious work but yeah i hope you guys like this i hope you enjoy the look please tag me on instagram if you recreate it because i would love to see your looks um and please let me know what other fall tutorials you want to see from me i've got like a billion ideas in my head but i want to know what you want to see so yeah i hope that this gave you all of the fall feels thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it please subscribe and i will see you very soon bye